In less than two weeks, voters will pick the Democratic nominee for Virginia's sprawling 2nd Congressional District, which covers Virginia Beach and parts of Chesapeake, Suffolk, and the Eastern Shore. Alex Little-Hales introduces us to the two candidates running to win that district, which has seen both Republicans and Democrats recently find success. These two Democratic opponents see eye to eye in their belief Congresswoman Jen Kiggins isn't the right choice for coastal Virginia. And I've been disappointed with our current representative. Donald Trump has led the Republican Party into extremism. Jen Kiggins has endorsed Trump. But what voters will have to decide is what professional background may be a better fit to lead Virginia's second congressional district and go up against Kiggins in the November general election. We believe in that service to country and to community. Missy Cotter Smossel is a mom, former small business owner, and U.S. Navy veteran. Her military background continues a trend of Navy service set by Kiggins and former Congresswoman Elaine Loria. She has so far raised more than $500,000 for her campaign and has picked up notable endorsements like former Governor Ralph Northam. I think that we've seen too much chaos. That's because of people like Jen Kiggins really supporting this MAGA agenda. So I want to make sure that we're standing fast for bodily autonomy, protecting women's rights. And there is Virginia Beach constitutional attorney Jake Denton. The main ideology is this Trumpism. It's the endorsing Donald Trump. It's the backing Donald Trump. Who is similarly running to get rid of what he calls Kagan's' extremist policy stances. We should not be sweeping what happened on January 6th under the rug. You should not be obstructing the transfer of power and the attacks on the truth. Denton has so far raised more than $200,000 for his campaign. I think it's great. I think it's an interesting district and in that we're lucky because our district has not been polarized. That's the beauty of coastal Virginia is this independent streak that we have. In Virginia Beach, Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now. And this Friday is the last day to apply for mail-in ballots through your local elections registrar.